In this tutorial, we're looking at Zebra CM's user LFO. We've loaded up the preset Orient Fretless. Take a quick look at the modulation options in the two oscillators, and you'll see there are already some LFO assignments set up. We'll work on oscillator 1, so turn down oscillator 2's volume. The oscillator symmetry control already has LFO2 assigned. Try using your mouse over the dot to the right to increase the depth. You should hear the sound changing in a random way. If you now head over to the LFO section and select 2 in the top left of the display, you'll see that LFO2 is set to random glide. Change this to user. On the LFO, set restart to gate, so it re-triggers for each note. Set sync mode to 1 8th. Mode to steps. Rate to 100. And number of points to 4. With a flat curve like this, the LFO should not be affecting the oscillator 1 symmetry at all. Now create a basic shape by dragging the curve. In step mode, as you might expect, this creates simple blocky steps. Here we've set ours to be full on for step 2 and 4, and with the modulation depth set accordingly, ours is set to 70, you should now have a gated effect. For a smoother effect, switch the mode to lines. Finally, you can increase the number of steps, we've gone for 16, and create much more complex LFO shapes to really control the nature of the modulation. <laughs> 